or this coat of white stain is here to stay on this historic building. Today, Fort Myers City Council heard the appeal from the people who did the job on the Richards Building Alessio Development. The original brick, which city staff says was previously unpainted, was stained white by Alessio Development without the Historic Preservation Commission's permission and despite a stop work order from the city. Well, today the city ruled four to three in favor of Alessio Development, which means they do not have to remove that white stain. Wing News reporter Amy Gallo has details. The verdict is in, and this white stain is here to stay. As soon as I saw that paint go up, I knew it wasn't coming down. Honestly, what concerns me moving forward is the precedent it's setting for the rest of the historic district, because people moving forward, they know now that it's easier to ask forgiveness than it is to ask permission before the fact. But Alessio Development's attorney, Daniel Garza, argues. We weren't here because there was a violation of any stop work order. Um, obviously, there was no intention to do anything maliciously or against any rules. Because the other three sides of the building had been previously painted, Garza argues they didn't need permission to paint the front. But the Historical Preservation Commission argues they did for the front facing side. The question before the HPC was whether the unpainted brick on the front of the top had been painted outside of without approval by the commission. Which is why in August the commission denied an after the fact approval to stain the building. On Wednesday, Alessio Development sought an appeal from the city council, which they got, though not without concerns from council members. They need to put it back the way it was, and they also need to be fined for not a pl uh, complying to the stop work order. There are a lot of revisits that we need to do to um, some of our ordinances to clear this up for future so that we don't have to kind of get back into this um, type of an issue where we, it requires a hearing and we're talking about Webster's Dictionary to the final word for goodness sakes. Now, the definition of the word pain is what Councilperson Bonk is refer uh, referencing there. It was a big topic of discussion at today's meeting because city ordinance does not define it. Various council members alluded to potentially workshopping the ordinances.